So this Kahoot is on percentages, so I hope you've had a go at the quiz before you've just watched this video. Uh, the link through to the quiz is below in the narrative, so good luck, let's get going. So as I said, it's on percentages, really aimed at the higher end of foundation. So question one, how would you work out a percentage increase from 60 to 65? Now, to work out a percentage increase, you work out the change in, in uh, price or whatever it is, the change between the numbers, which is 5. You divide that by the original amount. Well, it went from 60 to 65, so the original amount was 60. So you do 5 divided by 60, and then to turn it into percentage, you multiply this by 100. So 5 divided by 60 times 100 is going to be our gold option. So question two, how would you work out a percentage decrease from 65 to 60? Well, exactly the same idea. The change is five. Okay, it's gone downwards. So what? It's still a change. So five, you must divide by the price we started with or number we started with, which was 65. So five divided by 65. And then to turn this decimal into percentage, you times it by 100. Five divided by 65 times 100 is green. Question three. So working out a percentage increase from 45 to 65, the increase is 20, the original amount is 45, so 20 divided by 45 times 100 is blue. And the final question on these, question four, Price, uh, percentage decrease from 65 to 50. Well, the change is 15 divided by 65 times 100 is our red answer. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, um, what, multipliers now, a few questions on multipliers. So, what multiplier would you use for a 40% increase? So 40%, so that's an extra 40 out of 100. So do a 100 add 40, which is 140. To turn this 140 into a multiplier, we divide it by 100. 140 divided by 100 is 1.4. Question six, a 4% increase. So we've gone from 100 to 104, because 100 add 4 is 104. Picture 104 in your head, divide that by 100, the multiplier is 1.04. Question 7, multiplier for a 4% decrease. So a decrease, so we're taking away from 100 now. 100 take away 4 is 96. So 96 um, out of 100, okay, so 96, divide that by 100, you get a multiplier of 0 0.96, 0 0.96. 100 minus 4 is 96, we're going from 100 to 96, 96 divided by 100, 0 0.96. Now, a 40% decrease, 100 take away 40 is 60, so 60 out of 100, uh, that multiplier is 0 0.6, 0 0.6. Okay, 100 take away 40 is 60, so what might multiplier takes you from 100 to 60, that's 60 divided by 100, 0 0.6. So the rest of the questions are like this really. So you've just got to take into account the percentage change and whether it, the, the, the original, it was original or final price. So step one, we've got a 5% reduction. So our multiplier will be 0 0.95. Step two, what is the question telling us? This price of the coat is before the change of 5% in the cell. So this 120 is the original price. So to get from the original price to the, to the final price, we're sort of going left to right, if you like, 
we need to multiply by the multiplier. So 120 multiplied by 0 0.95 is the gold option. Question 10. We've got a 4% price increase. So our multiplier is 1.04. We're going from the original price to the final price, so we multiply by this 1.04, which is giving us the green option. Question 11. So we've got a 6% price reduction, so our multiplier is 0.94, but now we're going from the final price to the original price. This is the price in the cell after the change. So we're going from this final price to the original price before the cell reduction. So it's going to be 120 divided by 0.94, which is our gold option. Question 12. Well, we've got an 8% price increase, so our multiplier is 1.08. We're going from a final price to the original price, so we have to divide by 1.08, which is our blue option. Question 13. We've got an 11% price increase. So our multiplier is 1.11. This is what the TV cost before the price increase. So we're going from original to final. So we're going to be multiplying by 1.11, which is our gold option. Question 14. We've got a 10% price decrease. So our multiplier is 0.9. We've been told the price of the TV after the reduction, so we're going from final price to original price, so we've got to divide by 0 0.9, which is our gold option. And then finally, we've got a 10% price increase, so our multiplier is 1.1. This is what the TV cost after the price increase, so this is the final price, so we're going back to the original price, so we've got to divide, so we're going to divide by a multiplier of 1.1, which gives us uh, 210 divided by 1.1, which is going to be a the red option. Okay, so that's the end of it. So I hope that's helped. Um, uh, good luck in your exams.